In some ways, it's like the beginning of a Dickens novel. It was the worst of times and the best of times. If someone told you, make up something, make it up, nobody would ever make this up. We begin our story in the fall of 1980 in the small town of Independence, Kentucky. The neat part about our basketball team in 81 is that team all grew up together. People knew that there was something special there. We knew that we had a great basketball team, but we really didn't know what that year was going to hold for the school or for our community. There were 12 students in there. We all heard just a very loud hiss like that, and the wall blew up. And there was smoke and fire at the far end of the building. I mean, out the windows, smoke everywhere, and kids running around, people running around, screaming, yelling. And some students were hollering that there was a student trapped in there. You could have heard a pin drop when the, the body was carried across the parking lot. So this can't be happening. It, 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 this doesn't happen you know, to, to high schools. It doesn't happen in, in your own school. We lost about a third of our school that had to be reconstructed. The school needed something. The kids needed something to get behind. You went out and played basketball, and, and that was that. I can't think of a year that was more competitive in the ninth region than 1981. We didn't win a tournament. We didn't cut down the nets. We didn't get the trophy. We still had to play Walton, but we knew Walton was tough. And I still hear people talk about how great of a game that was. It's the greatest game they've ever seen. The crowd was just about two shades short of going ballistic. I think the kids got the feeling that it's our year. No one's going to get us now. Troy McKinley decided, I'm going to state tournament and I'm going to take you guys with me. It was just one of those moments that you wish this could last forever. The whole school was ecstatic. It was a great accomplishment. We were going to Rupp Arena to play basketball. Nobody thought we were going to go down there and play against the bigger Louisville Lexington schools. In less than 48 hours, you're going to have to play four basketball games against the top teams in the state. It was exhilarating. You, you step on the court, your juices are flowing. You, you're just dying to play basketball. People wanted to see that last game. If there was 22,000 people there, I've probably met 23,000 people that said that they were there. They represented not only the city or the town, but they represented the entire community. They were a team of destiny. Only we just didn't happen to know all of the facts. 